Hi everybody, this is Kiefer with High 9 I'm going to be uh, interviewing Neil today on the Highest Network. Hey everyone. Uh, we are at Naysayer Tattoo, and uh, the location is Robson and Maine, correct? Yep, one block east of Country Club in downtown Mesa. Very cool, right in the middle of the valley, kind of. Yeah. East yeah, right. Valley, more or less, but Fair right off the light rail, treated. too. Um, and... I guess let's just start the base. I've known you for about seven years now, I believe. I think so. I think I started tattooing you back in 2010, 2011 at Urban Art. Yep. Yep, that would have been when I was 18. I got that tax return, and I was just like, yeah, I'm going down, and I'm getting to sleep. And uh, tax return didn't really cover the sleep, but it was close. <laughs> um, We're not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so here at Naysayer, or let's go into how long have you been tattooing? Uh, I've been tattooing since July of 2008, so almost ten and a half years, a little over ten and a half years at this point. Yeah, he's great, guys. I mean, you'll see some of the stuff. We'll throughout the video, we'll show you some some of his work. I only go to him, first guy I went to, and I, I don't really want to go to anyone else. So, highly recommend him. Um, so, I know that uh, what what do you charge per hour, approximately? Um, depends on what we're doing. If it's just going to be something small that we're going to complete in one session, only going to take us two or three hours, it's just going to be the standard shop rate, 150 an hour. But the majority of my work is larger, multi-session, you know, ongoing pieces, sleeves, back pieces, and so on. Um, that stuff, I, I, I do give a little bit better price. It usually comes out to about 125 an hour. It's usually about 600 for five hours, give or take. Yeah. So it's it's a little bit a little bit better if you're doing a bigger project, but for most stuff, just one fifty an hour. I hear you. And the big projects is the cool stuff. That's what I like. Oh, definitely. Like, yeah. Working on sleeves here. So <laughs> going to Neil. Uh, we just worked on one yesterday, actually, right here in my arm. Uh, we're gonna have a time lapse on that for you guys. It's super cool. It's pretty <laughs> rad. It's pretty damn rad. Um, so I know that you've been tattooing for about ten years now, um, but you just opened the shop recently. Yep, shop has been open for a little over a year and a half. We opened June of 2017, and uh, it was me and my business partner, uh, Tony Klett, on Instagram as Tech9. Amazing traditional, neo traditional artist, you know, one of the cleanest in the business. You know, if you like traditional work, he's the guy to go to. Um, but yeah, known him for about as long as I've been back in the valley tattooing, so. Very cool, very cool. Great business partner. What was his uh, Instagram again? It's at uh, Tech9. Tech9? Yeah. It's spelled like you would think. I believe it is T E K 9, the num number, and okay. then I N E. So check him out. Yeah. Uh, Tony's really cool, especially traditional. Some of the stuff is out of this world. Not to me. Um, and then what's your Instagram too, so people can check that out? Uh, mine's just, it's really boring. It's my name. Just Neil underscore McLeod. M C L E O D. Really boring, but gets the point for us. It's a cool page. <laughs> I think one of my tats is on there. It's probably near the bottom, but very oh, yeah, cool. You're on there. Yeah, unless you don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys have been here about a year and a half, you said? Yeah, yeah. We opened in uh, in June 2017, and uh, oh, it's been great. I mean, all my clients followed me from the other shop, and you know, I still stay booked out about a month and a half, two months. So very cool. Yeah, no, so if you're trying to get in for a consult or anything, you come down, it's free. But like you said, two and a half months. So book your appointments out, especially if you're going to do something like a sleeve or bigger project, back piece. And he'll get real giddy if you want to do something <laughs> like that because the bigger the piece, the better. Definitely. I, I love my job. I take it very seriously. And uh, I just want to give everyone cool tattoos. So it's you and Tony. Neil and yep. Tony here. Me, me and Tony, we're, we're the owners and primary artists, and then we also have an apprentice. An apprentice? I know we all call him Rico. Yep. Right? Yep. He, he's known by Rico. That was his name until he's... What, what did you tell me the other day? Yeah, once, once he, uh, when he graduates. When he graduates. He'll go back to being Eric. <laughs> but until then, he's just Rico. That's great. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, other than the shop, I know you got all these... These are... Some of your paintings, correct? Yep, yep. These are just small, small example of my my oil painting. I uh, started doing that about a year after I started tattooing, and uh, used to do it a whole lot. But I started a new family last year, and then started the shop same time. So I've been really slacking on the 
extracurricular artistic activities, as I like to call them. And as far as I, he says he's slacking, but I mean, I, if it's not too personal, they're your schedule. You got to tell the people your schedule. <laughs> I'm always uh, amazed by it. Yeah, I, I basically I go to bed, you know, put put my son to bed around eight thirty nine o'clock at night. You know, I'm I'm asleep by ten o'clock, and then I wake up at around one a.m. and then I'm up drawing or painting until about five five thirty. Then I go back to bed and wake up around eight and come to work. It's amazing. <laughs> I do not have to discipline. Yeah, I mean I figure as long as I get four or five hours of sleep a night. You know, here or there, it's good enough. Yeah, I mean, it works. And he's still doing great work, so obviously it's not affecting <laughs> No, no, I, uh, I'm blessed with the, uh, the whole lot of energy, so. It's almost like an itch, right, if you don't do it? Pretty much, yeah. No, I, I start going a little stir-crazy if I don't get my my me time, my heart time. I know that we've been, uh, we chat every once in a while. I'm always in here getting tatted, so. Um, but he well, works on got to know each other. Yeah, a little bit, <laughs> just a wee bit. Um, but you do other tattooing. I mean, that's that's your main income, and that's what you probably love to do the most. Absolutely. But I mean, he's a tinker, kind of like I am. He knows a little bit more than me. He's got. I got a bike. He's got a bike. Uh, motorcycle. I mean, not a bicycle. <laughs> both sportsters. Yeah, both sportsters. And you have a pan head too. Uh, shovel head. Shovel head. Yeah. I have a 1978 iron head and a 1977 shovel head. And he's done some cool work. Uh, I think he's got it in the back, so I'll try and get a little quick view for you guys here. Um, go yeah. for it, though. Just talk about it, because I know you've done some artistic things on the bike itself. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a total customizer. I cannot leave anything the way it is. That's just <laughs> um, So, for on my bike specifically, I, I painted the tank a real crazy flight paint job. Um, the biggest project I ever did on this one was splitting the rocker boxes, where you actually mm -hmm. take rocker box assembly, cut it in half, weld it back together so it can, it, you know, because it has an oil line that goes through it, um, and then you do a bunch of shaping, you know, grinding, all that, and then I went a step further and then engraved the rockers on top of that, so I think I had about 40 hours in just splitting those rocker boxes. Nice. I probably had a lot time. 20 hours in the paint job. So it's a lot, it's a lot to do, a lot of... A lot of time spent for something that doesn't improve performance and basically just makes it that much cooler to look at. I agree. It, this bike is badass. <laughs> but to an extent, I mean, tattoos are the same way. No one, oh, needs, yeah. no one needs a tattoo, but they have no one. Yeah, they're they're great. I mean, just like pictures and stuff. I, 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 you'll see some of my tattoos. Uh, we got the time lapse for this one. Uh, I got like a space league going here. I got Einstein. Got the equation of relativity, and uh, very obsessed with Dolly. I have a little bit of this the disintegration of the persistence of memory. Yes. These blocks here. So, and this arm is all Dolly. So, big Dolly guy. But uh, <laughs> big always going to Neil. And uh, honestly, I love coming to this new shop. It must be nice having your own business now, right? Compared uh, to before. Yeah, I mean, I I've always taken tattooing super seriously and put in 110%, but you'll never work as hard for somebody else as you work for yourself. Oh, I agree. You know, and it's it's just a lot easier to come to work when I'm coming to my own shop and, you know, not having to answer anyone and just get to come here and do what I do. Right, and everything you put in, you get out. It's yeah. not like you're, someone else is getting cut. Right, right. So. I mean, yeah, it, it eventually, you know, hopefully it gets to a point where you're creating your own clientele, you know, and it's not necessarily up to the shop to be bringing you people. And when you get to that point, it's, it's time to get out and do it on your own. Cool. Very cool. I'm excited. I'm glad that you have your own shop now. And especially with the family and everything, that's... It definitely helps. That's awesome. It definitely helps. I mean, freedom of scheduling. I mean, I work a lot. I probably work more now than I did when I was at the other shop. But, yeah. again, it's a, it's a lot easier when you just come to your own place. Yeah, definitely. It's a cool shop and spot. I think it's a better spot than Urban Art was. Definitely. I mean, you know, I mean, simple things like having this big window in front, you know, where you get to oh, actually yeah. see people. It's, it's <laughs> so much nicer than working in a little tiny closet in the back. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> you saw my room. I, I did see your room. <laughs> it was a little room. Um, so, I, 
I9 sponsor, and obviously um, I'm one of the co-founders with my buddy Nico. Um, I know that you do some work for Solon, yeah? Yep, yep. I've, uh, I've designed two different t-shirts for Solon Clothing out of Long Beach, California. First one came out in 2015 for a piece that I put into one of their art shows in 2014. And then uh, the second one came out, actually, no, I'm sorry. Second shirt came out in 2014. The first shirt came out in 2012. Okay. Because that, that's when the art show was. And it's pretty fun. It was uh, it was one of my kind of filigree skulls. This was actually the second shirt that uh, they came out with for me. Um, the first one I did, it was a skull that had a rose on the inside of it. And when the uh, curator for the art show was posting all the separate pictures of all the art pieces mm -hmm. on his Instagram page, mine was the, the highest liked photo. So you were in at that point. Yeah. No, after that, they were kind of, they were like, all right, I guess we're making a shirt out of it. <laughs> That's Super awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, we're trying to, poking at him, we're trying to get him to make some stuff for us. But, I mean, he's got his own business now and everything, so it's, well, we're not going to put any pressure on him or anything. <laughs> but, well, uh, and then the other fun thing was, uh, actually last year, I got to go out to Solon, uh, at their headquarters and actually film a time lapse for them too. Oh, very so, cool. So, yeah, I had a little bit of experience doing that. I'm about to check that one out. We might add that to the the video leak here on YouTube. Yeah, no, that's that would be cool to loop over. Yeah, no, it's fun to watch. Um, cool. Well, we've kind of talked about the shop a little bit. Um, uh, is there anything particular you want to add? Like certain tattoos? Is there any tattoo you're dying to do that someone hasn't come in to get? Or oh man. All of them. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, there. I mean, I love tattooing skulls and flowers. Those are kind of my, just my favorite things always. But honestly, there's nothing I'm not gonna have fun with. Yeah. I, I honestly love when someone brings me a really crazy idea that some people may be like, I'm. That's gonna be totally stupid. I'm gonna try to figure out a way to make that an awesome tattoo. Yeah. It, he's not lying either, because I've come in with some pretty. Out there, ideas. Who the one? Who the better? We could cheek them, but I've definitely. Uh, I mean, there's been people that come in and they'll be like looking at my arm, and they're like, "Damn, dude, you really just accepted that? And you're gonna do that?" I think Tony was commenting something like, "That just looks like a pain in the ass." Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> what we spent three hours drawing that all on with the sharpie, I think. Yeah. To to get the flow right. I mean, pretty much freehand. Yeah. It's no, crazy. It, it was it was all just drawn freehand. Which, if you ever see it in person, look at those straight lines. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No rulers applied. <laughs> that's, why I'm, that's why I'm always here. He knows what he's doing, people. Um, so, I don't know. Is there uh, anything else in particular we want to bring up? We kind of went over the shop. Let's say the location one more time so people know then that's a... Uh... So just like spell the address. Yeah, that'd be even better, honestly. Yeah. Um, the crossroads are... Country Club in Maine, yeah. approximately. Country Club Maine, essentially, uh, we're 160 West Main Street in Mesa, Arizona, 85201. Literally one block west of Country Club on Maine. Very cool. North side of the road, can't miss us. Right off the light rail, so easy, convenient. Oh, uh, super convenient. And, I mean, it's downtown Mesa, so there's always shit going on. I mean, we're going to go get some beers right after this anyway. Oh, I think it's uh, 308, and the bar opened at 3, so... We may be having to get out of here a little quicker <laughs> than we planned. Uh, let's plug your Instagram one more time. It's at Neil Neil McLeod. N e i l underscore m c l e o d. Cool. Very cool. And then you don't have anything for the shop specifically. It's just you. Oh, uh, we do. I mean, the shop Instagram is uh, just naysayer tattoo shop, all one word. Okay. And that's uh, it'll and that's cool because it posts both me and Tony's work, so you'll get to see like a nice mix of both of our stuff. Um, we try to keep it fairly updated, but we stay pretty busy, so if stuff on there looks like we haven't posted in a while, probably because we haven't. <laughs> it's all good. I'm, I'm right there with you. Um, we're probably going to, I want, we're going to be working with Neil here and there. Um, I'm always in here talking, bullshitting with him, getting tatted, and uh, hopefully we'll get some high nine gear, some limited, uh, Probably do like a limited run thing, I'm thinking. Ooh, I Charge like a little bit more. Yeah. It's more unique. I mean, people dig that shit. And even some of your art, Special man. Edition. I know you, you painted like crazy for a long while. And you have like a garage full of paintings, no? Yep, yep. No, <laughs> I've, I've got more than my fair share in the, in the painting graveyard. Um, I mean, I, I started 
as a as an auto painter. That was, that was like my first career choice from I think eight years old is when I decided I wanted to be a custom car painter. And I started doing that professionally at 16 and did that until I was 19, 20, right, right before I started tattooing. It was all kind of around 2008 when the, the economy kind of crapped out on us. Um, but yeah, I mean, I did, I did custom paint for almost eight years. That's awesome, man. I love it. Hey, sorry folks. That's the end of the interview with Neil there. Uh, the camera died on me. Apologies. We're going to have another video with him here soon though. Make sure you go check out Naysayer Tattoo. It is on Country Club in Maine in downtown Mesa. Uh, also the Instagram, Neil personally is Neil McLeod. N-E-I-L under dash M-C-L-E-O-D. Pretty sure I got that right. And the shop Instagram is just at Naysayer Tattoo. Give them both a follow, uh, show them some love. This is in downtown Mesa. Anybody trying to get a tattoo, check out the shop. It is super dope. And uh, thanks for watching the Highest Network. Sorry about that uh, video edit. Um, well, cheers. Have a good one.